In this question, you can see which of the following statement is correct. Option number A, hard outer layer of pollen is called intine. Option number B, sporogenous tissue is haploid. Option number C, endothecium produces microspores. Option number D, tapetum nourishes the developing pollen grains. So what is the correct answer? So this is from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant which is in class 12. So what is the correct answer among these four options? That is option number D which is written that tapetum nourishes the developing pollen grains. Tapetum it is the innermost layer. So tapetum is the inner layer and it nourishes the developing pollen grains. So it is the correct answer. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 25. Let's begin with the question number 25. Product of sexual reproduction generally generates option number A, longer viability of seeds. Option number B, prolonged dormancy. Option number C, new genetic combination leading to variation. Option number D, larger biomass. This is from chapter 1, reproduction in organism. So what is the correct answer? That is option number C. That means new genetic combinations which leads to variations. So in the sexual reproduction, the variation take place. So that means option number C is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 26. Now in this question you can see meiosis take place in option number A, meiocyte, option number B, conidia, option number C, gamule, option number D, megaspore. Student, this is from the chapter reproduction in organism. So what is the correct answer? Meiosis take place in option number A that is meiocytes. Meiocytes are the gamete mother cell. So these are the cell in which the meiosis take place. Now let's see the next question that is question number 27. Now the next question is advantage of pleistogamy is option number A higher genetic variability, option number B more vigorous offspring, option number C no dependence on pollinators, option number D vivipari. This is from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So what is the disadvantage of clistogamy? That is they do not have any dependence on pollinators. So option number C is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 28. Now in this question you can see monoecious plant of Cara shows occurrence of option number A antheridiopore and archegoniopore on the same plant. Option number B, stamen and carpal on the same plant. Option number C, upper anthridium and lower ugonium on the same plant. Option number D, upper ugonium and lower anthridium on the same plant. This is from the chapter plant kingdom. So what is the correct answer? The monoecious plant of Cara shows occurrence of upper ugonium and lower anthridium on the same plant. This is in the option number D. So option number D is the correct answer and student this question has directly come from your NCRT textbook. So what we have to do you have to follow NCRT textbook right. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 29. In this question you can see perisperm differs from endosperm in option number A being a haploid tissue, option number B having no reserve food, Option number C being a diploid tissue. Option number D is formation by fusion of secondary nucleus with several sperm. This is from the chapter plant kingdom. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is given in option number C that is being a diploid tissue. So it is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 30. In this question you can see which of the following statement is not true for two genes that show 50% of recombination frequency? Option number A, the genes may be in different chromosomes. Option number B, the genes are tightly linked. Option number C, the genes show independent assortment. 
Option number D, if the genes are present on the same chromosome, then they undergo more than one separated and hence no crossing over take place. So what is the correct answer among this? Student, this is from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. So what is the question that you have to select the statement which is not true for two genes that show 50% recombination frequency. Recombination, it take place because of crossing over. So in option number B, it is written the genes are tightly linked, which means the recombination will be very less here. So option number B is the correct answer. So if the chromosome is like this and here is the linked genes A and B. So these two genes are linked genes and because of this they are having very less crossing over and less frequency of recombination take place in them. That means option number B is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 31. Which of the following statement is not true for two genes that show 50% recombination frequency? Option number A, the genes may be in different chromosomes. Option number B, the genes are tightly linked. Option number C, the genes show independent assortment. Option number D, if the genes are present on the same chromosomes, they undergo more than one separated and hence no crossing over take place. Student, this question is from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. So what is the correct answer among this? Where the frequency is very less, it take place when the genes are tightly packed, which means option number B is the correct answer. So when the gene in the chromosomes are tightly packed, then the recombination frequency will be very less. Whereas when the genes are loosely packed, then the recombination will be high. That means it is 50% or more than that. So option number B is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 31. Variations in gene frequencies within populations can occur by chance rather than by natural selection. This is referred to as option number A, genetic flow, option number B, genetic drift, option number C, random matting, option number D, genetic load. Student, this is from the chapter evolution. We have got all these terms, right? So what is the correct answer? That is genetic drift, which is given in option number B. So, the variation in gene frequency within populations can occur by chance rather than by natural selection and this process is referred to as genetic drift. So, this is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 32. In this question, you can see if two persons with AB blood group marry and have sufficiently large number of children, these children could be classified as A blood group. AB blood group, B blood group in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. Modern technique of protein electrophoresis reveals presence of both A and B type proteins in AB blood group individuals. This is an example of option number A co-dominance, option number B incomplete dominance, option number C partial dominance, Option number D, complete dominance. This is from the chapter principles of inheritance and variations. So what is the correct answer student? AB blood group is a good example of co-dominance, which means option number A is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 33. The process by which organism with different evolutionary history evolve similar phenotypic adaptations in response to a common environmental challenge is called option number A, natural selection, option number B, convergent evolution, option number C, non-random evolution, option number D, adaptive radiation. This is from the chapter evolution. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number B that is convergent evolution. Now let's move on to the next question that is question number 34. In this question you can see 
the tendency of population to remain in genetic equilibrium may be disturbed by option number A random mating, option number B lack of migration, option number C lack of mutation, option number D lack of random mating. This is from the chapter evolution. So what is the correct answer? So it has asked the tendency of population to remain in genetic equilibrium may be disturbed by the lack of random matting which is given in option number D. So option number D is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 35. Which of the following Bt crops is been grown in India by the farmers? Option number A maize, option number B cotton, option number C brinchal, option number D soybean. This is from the chapter biotechnology and its application. So what is the correct answer? In which of the following example Bt crops is grown? That is a very easy answer that is option number B cotton. So cotton is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 36. A good producer of citric acid is option number A aspergillus. Option number B, Pseudomonas. Option number C, Clostridium. Option number D, Saccharomyces. So what is the correct answer? A good producer of citric acid is? Option number A, that is Aspergillus. It is from the chapter, Microbes in Human Welfare. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 37. In this question, you can see DNA fragments generated by the Restriction endonucleases in a chemical reaction can be separated by option number A centrifugation, option number B polymerase chain reaction, option number C electrophoresis, option number D restriction mapping. This is from the chapter biotechnology. So what is the correct answer? DNA fragment generated by the restriction endonucleases in a chemical reaction can be separated by electrophoresis. So option number C is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 38. Which of the following is not correctly matched for the organism and its cell wall degrading enzyme? Option number A bacteria lysozyme, option number B plant cell cellulase, option number C algae methylase, option number D fungi chitinase. So in the chapter biotechnology we have discussed about different types of enzymes which are used to break down the cell wall of different types of organisms. So among these four options what is the incorrectly matched option? That is option number C. In the option number C it is written that the cell wall of algae is degraded by methylase because the answer is the cell wall of algae composed of cellulose and it is break down by the enzyme cellulase. So that is the correct answer. So option C is the correct answer of this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 39. The colonies of recombinant bacteria appear white in contrast to blue colonies of non-recombinant bacteria because of option number A non-recombinant bacteria containing beta galactosidase, option B insertional inactivation of alpha galactosidase in non-recombinant bacteria, option number C insertional inactivation of alpha galactosidase in recombinant bacteria and option number D inactivation of glycosidase enzymes in recombinant bacteria. Student this is from the chapter biotechnology principle and process. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is in given in option number C that is insertional inactivation of alpha galactosidase in recombinant bacteria. So this is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question that is question number 40. In this question you can see which of the following are likely to be present in deep sea water. Option number A, Archaebacteria, option number B, Eubacteria, option number C, Blue-Green Algae, option number D, Saprophytic Fungi. 
Student, this is from the chapter biological classification. So, what is the correct answer? In that chapter, we have got all this example, right? So, we have to select the one which are likely to be present in deep sea water. So, what is the answer? The answer is Archaebacteria, which is option number A. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 41. In this question, you can see natural reservoir of phosphorus is option number A, sea water, option number B, animal bones, option number C, rocks, option number D, fossils. So, what is the correct answer? Natural reservoir of phosphorus is sedimentary rocks. That means option number C is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 42. In this question, you can see secondary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic matter by option number A, producers, option number B, parasites, option number C, consumers, option number D, decomposers. This is from the chapter ecosystem. So, student, what is the correct answer? So, what it asks that secondary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers. That means option number C is the correct answer for this question. All right. Now, let us move on to the next question that is question number 43. Which one of the following is not used for ex situ plant conservation? Option number A, field gene bank. Option number B, seed bank. Option number C, shifting cultivation. Option number D, botanical gardens. So, in the chapter biodiversity and its conservation, we have discussed about ex situ and in situ conservation. So, what is the correct answer? So, in this question, they have asked which of the following is not used for ex situ plant conservation. So, we have to select the one which is not used for ex situ conservation. So, among these four options, the correct answer is in option number C that is shifting cultivation. So, that is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 44. Kyoto Protocol was endorsed by option number A, COP which means Conference of Paris 3, option number B, COP 5, option number C, COP 6, option number D, COP 4. So, what is the correct answer? So, student, the correct answer is in option number A, that is COP3, COP which means Conference of Paris. So, the Conference of Paris have endorsed COP3, alright. Now, let us see the next question, that is question number 45. In this question, you can see which of the following represent maximum number of species among global biodiversity, option number A, algae, option number B, lichen, option number C, fungi, option number D, mosses and ferns. This is a very easy question student. So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is fungi, which means option C is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us move on to the next question, that is question number 46. Now, the next question is question number 46. Match the name of the animal in column number 1 with one characteristic in column number 2 and the phylum or class in column number 3 to which it belongs. Options are given here. Option number A, Petromycin, that is in column number 2 it is written Ectoparasite, in column number 3 it is written Cyclostomata. Next in option number B, Ectopis. Column number 2 is terrestrial and in column number 3 it is reptilia. Then in option number C, limulus, it is body covered by chitinous exoskeleton and pisces. Next is adamsia, it is radially symmetrical and porifera. So, among these four options you have to select the correct answer. Student, this is from the chapter animal kingdom of class 11. So, what is the correct answer here? The correct answer is option number A. In option number A, it is written that Petromycin is an ectoparasite and it belongs to class Cyclostomata. So, this is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 47. Now, in question number 47, you can see 
which of the following are correctly matched with respect to their taxonomic classification? Option number A, flying fish, cuttlefish, silver fish belongs to the faces. Then option number B, centipede, millipede, spider, scorpion belongs to insecta. Option number C, housefly, butterfly, setsi fly, silver fish belongs to insecta. And option number D, spiny and theater, sea urchin and sea cucumber belong to echinodermata. Student, this is from the chapter Animal Kingdom. So what is the correct answer among this? You have to select the correctly match with respect to their taxonomic classification. So from this four option, option number C is the correct answer. In option number C, it is written that housefly, butterfly, setsi fly and silver fish, they all belong to insecta, that means arthropoda. So that is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question, that is question number 48. Which group of animals belong to the same phylum? Option number A, malarial parasite, amoeba, mosquito. Option number B, earthworm, pinworm, tapeworm. Option number C, prawn, scorpion, locusta. Option number D, sponge, sea anemone and starfish. Student, this is a very easy question and it has directly come from your NCRT textbook of the chapter Animal Kingdom. So you have to select the correct one. Which of the following options belong to the same phylum? That is option number C. In the option number C, it is written prawn, scorpion and locusta. They all belong to the same phylum, arthropoda. So this is the correct answer. All right. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 49. One of the representatives of phylum arthropoda is Option number A, cuttlefish. Option number B, silverfish. Option number C, pufferfish. Option number D, flying fish. Student, this is also from the chapter Animal Kingdom. So what is the correct answer here? C, in option number A, it is written cuttlefish. Cuttlefish is a mollusca. Next is option number B, that is silverfish. Silverfish is a arthropoda. Then in option number C, it is written puffer fish. Puffer fish is a chordata. And option number D, flying fish, that is also chordata, right? So among these four options, you have to select the example which belongs to the phylum arthropoda. Now what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number B, that is silver fish. So silver fish is belong to the phylum arthropoda. All right, now let's move on to the next question, that is question number 50. The age zone in the skeletal muscle fiber is due to option number A, the absence of myofibrils in the central portion of A band, option number B, the central gap between myosin filaments in the A band, option number C, the central gap between actin filaments extending through myosin filaments in the A band. Option number D, extension of myosin filaments in the central portion of the A band. Student, this is from the chapter Locomotions and Movement. So what is the correct answer? So here they have asked the eighth zone in the skeletal muscle fiber is due to which of the following option is correct? The option number C. In option number C, it is written the central gap between actin filaments extending through myosin filaments in the A band. So that is the correct answer. 